Shima Mukiza, 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. As we still standing, I request my wife Angelique to come forward to wish you a Merry Christmas and say hello to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. We were missing you. Even if it's not a long time. We love you and we miss you a lot. And we know it's the same with you. I would like us to share a small word on Christmas. It's in Psalms 20, verse 6. Kandi kubwizi na ry'Imana yacu tuzerekana ama amabendera yacu uwiteka asohoze ibyo usaba byose amen In the English version it's verse 5 we will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God we will set up our banners may the Lord fulfill all your petitions amen Ndabifuriza kandi nanje no muryango wanje twifuriza ko iri jambo ridusohozaho uyu mwaka urimo gushira I pray that this word may be true for you and for my family as the year is ending. Every petition we have towards God, may we receive it as the year is ending. We wish you a Merry Christmas with your families and all our families. May we feel comfortable and be joyful and remember that our Savior is born. At a time as this, he was born that we may live in pleasure. We will love God. Continue to seek him. God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much. Kindly you could take your seats. Merry Christmas to you all. A special and beautiful day. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Mama Auntie Edith Ariko yes ago mugisha cyane hamwe natwe Mama Edith Ariko God bless you for being with us. We're happy to be with you again. Karibu sana. Welcome. Turi kumwe no muntu dukunda cyane ambassadeur Gatete nawe ndagira ngo wadusuze rwose. We are with someone who loves us ambassadeur Gatete. You're welcome. Amen. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Turi kumwe na baherida nanone bo mwitorero rya Yishuti za chuzame ne Portland, Felix na madamu enda kiyango na muhaguruke, mtu sosi mani wa humu kisha chane. Church elders in Zion Temple. No, no, muri Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. Portland. Portland, muri Bethlehem. Oh, it's in Bethlehem. Bethel. In Bethel Church, and there are elders in the church. Kwa Bishop Mutima. They are from Bishop Mutima's church. Karibo hamwena. You're welcome. I wish you a Merry Christmas anyhow. Have a Merry Christmas. The Lord be with you. Enjoy with your families this afternoon. The peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. We're entering into the time of the Holy Communion. We read the second uh, book of Second Timothy. Verse two, chapter two, verse eight. Uje wii buka Yesu Kristo wakomu temuruzaro guada witi. Akazuka muwafu yangu kubutumana hawe bufuga. Amen. 
Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Amen. Uyu munsi tugiye kwibuka Yesu Kristo wabaye umuntu akabzarwa n'umuntu akakomoka mu muryango wa Dawidi. Today we are remembering Jesus Christ. He became man and he became a seed of David. Mu ijuru ni imana. In heaven he's God. And on the earth he's a brother. So we will remember him. So one of the ways to remember him is to share the Holy Communion. When we share the Holy Communion, we are remembering him. The Bible says, do it and remember me accordingly. We are now getting into this beautiful moment. Ndasaba abashumba I request the pastors nabakozi b'Imana bavuga butumwa the evangelists tujye kwegera hariya ku ruhimbi let's go close hanyuma kwinjira muri uwo mwanya so we get into this moment bibiliya yavuga ngo ijoro bamugambaniye yenze umutsima the bible says the night they betrayed him he took the bread ngo arawushimira and he blessed it mana turagushimiye kubwo uyu mutsima god we thank you for this bread turagushimiye kuri iki gikorwa gikomeye for this great act we are doing mwami turibuka ko waje muri uyu mubiri remember you came in this body udusaba kukwibuka and you asked us to remember you wavutse mu ruzaro rwa dawudi you are born in the seed of david ariko bigaragara kuri imana but it is evident you are god kwa Dawudi ntiyazutse we warafuyura zo because David did not resurrect but you resurrected bigaragaza kurenze kuba mwene Dawudi meaning you are beyond being a descendant tugiye kwibuka izo mbaraga za so we are now remembering your power zatumye ubumuntu that made you man ukaba ni imana while still god in the name of jesus go amaze kugishimira bamaze kugishimira uwo mubiri arahumanya ku mutsima the bread he broke the bread bigaragaza uko Misiyo yari yaramuzanye kwisi kwa rukumanya gurwa gupfa kugira ngo umubiri we uzaribwe na benshi To be evident that the mission he came to the earth was for his body to be broken and die for many Uyongera yenda igikombara gishimira Then he took the cup and blessed it Warabwira ngo ni munwere mwese kuri iki He said drink from this cup Boya na mara suisse ze nurisha Because this is the blood of the new covenant Ava kubwa benshi That come that is shed for many Harimo ubugingo There is life in it Harimo ubuzima There is life in it Misesa na Risha It is a new covenant Ibzakera birarangiye The old is gone Ibisha biratangiye And the new has begun Mana tuzanye ikomba imbere yawe Let me bring this cup before Tura you Turagushima And we thank you In your name Jesus Ugihu mugisha That you bless it Kigikombo gihu mugisha mwana Bless this cup Lord Abanywa bose Everyone that partakes of it Banywa maraso ya Will drink your blood Bahabwa ubugingo And receive life Bakirinda ubwana And be healed of disease Mivumikike all curses be broken and miracles are done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Deka abashumba twegere hanyuma tugaburire iteraniro dusangire nabo. Azafe dukomeze mu kuririmbira imana. Habayu musi wishimwe mwijuru. Yesu yitanga wagere mwisi azakubyagwa numwarutunga uwera tura abavuga butumwa madufaje Felix mwadufaje kugaburira abahetse ugende namwe mujye kudufasha ishimwe mwishu oh Yesu yitanga wagere mwisi azakubyagwa numwarutunga Uera tu ra dororu kuno dororu kuno watu nyamfira ibya bya ya bihamba mumva bazara suka wabuze nase nagaruka za mushimi dororu kuno dororu kuno Abandi basamuke hejuru tujye no hejuru naho Azara suka banguze nase nagaruka za kushimi haba yumusi baba mukiza baba yumusi baba mukiza igoro guta takumusaraba Ahe murwa fumatu kwa nabantu yikoreyi 
abamaze kwakira dushobora gusangira ni murye umubiri wa Yesu ni munwe amaraso ya Yesu abarangije abamaze kuhabwa reka turye mu izina rya Yesu reka tumwe mu izina rya Yesu uwo ni umubiri wa Yesu ayo na amaraso ya Yesu imbaraga ziri muri ayo maraso nizihindure nizikore ubuzima bushabuze imana ikora ibitangaza haleluya Mazara <laughs> Sara 
If you've not received the Holy Communion, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you've not received the Holy Communion. And they will come to you. At the top there. Who else? Glory is yours. Oh, your love is wonderful, Lord. We praise Jesus. We praised Jesus. You have not received the Holy Communion. Raise your hand. Jesus. Azabu Musi to Zumba Wiman Arabagi Dani Juru Yose Yesu Azaza Ubiza Begose Azimingo Mami Wati Azabu Musi Azabu Musi to Zumba Ni juru yose, 
God, we thank you for you do good. You came from heaven. Because of your great love, you came to the earth. So we thank you, Lord. You never change. The way you are, so you are today. Be praised, Jesus. That you've sacrificed yourself for us. You gave your life in this evil world. You came to a difficult world. Which was difficult that you will give us rest. So we thank you for giving us rest. And you restored our dignity. So we are now your children. Lord. We are your people. We are in your peace. May glory be yours. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Let's read the word of God in Isaiah. Isaiah ni bichi chenda muriwe ikinyarwanda murongo agatanda tu kuzaku agatano. We are reading in Isaiah chapter nine, verse six, up to seven in the English version. Nuko umga na yatu vukiye. Duha umwana umuhungu ubutware buzaba kubitugubye azitwa igitangaza umujyanama imana ikomeye data wa twisora umwami wa mahoro for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government will be upon his shoulder and his name will be called wonderful Counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Gutege kakwe na mahoro biza guirira kuntebe ya Dawidi nubga mibu. Bitagiri herezo kugirango bibu komes bibu shigi kize guchi manza zitaber no gukiranuka uhere yenone ukagezi teka dios ibjongi ibjo wite kanyiringavo. Amen. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it, to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, ever forever, even forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. Kuvuka kwa Yesu ni evenemi kome chani kuisi. The birth of Christ is a great event in the earth. Not many, not all of all the people celebrate it. Or maybe the deaths don't coincide. But what's key is that his birth is a great sign. You cannot celebrate the Passover without celebrating Christmas. You will never celebrate the one who died and resurrected before they are celebrated as having been born. Many of, us, many of us celebrate our birthdays, but we don't celebrate when we die. Sometimes the family might try to remember uh, the, the ones they have lost and maybe do it 
for a short time, but they can't do it every year like a birthday. And even when they are gone, their descendants will not remember to do that. Kuvuka kwa Yesu rero ntabwo ari ibintu byaje giturumbuka ngo abantu baba bibwe ku bantu batarategura. So the birth of Christ was not a surprise. It didn't come as a surprise to men. Ariko kandi byabaye byaguyeho abantu gitumo kandi byari byaravuzwe. It had been foretold but it surprised the people at the time. Ugere muri Eden from the time of Eden. Imana yabwiye inzoka God told the serpent that in the seed of this woman will come a person that will destroy your head. The word God told the serpent was not a lie. It was something that would be fulfilled at the expected time. Kuvuga ku Imana guherekezwa n'imiteguro yako. So the birth of God had its own preparation before it happened. Imani vuze ikintu itegura n'uburyo kizasohora. When God speaks about something he prepares how it will come to pass. Uburyo Imana rero yabiteganyije. So how God prepare this? Umuntu wa mbere yabibwiye. The first person that got to know it. Yabibwiye Yesaya. He spoke this to Isaiah. Iramubwira ngo he said that a virgin will conceive. A virgin is a woman, a lady who has not met a man. And it is a woman that is not married. Abahanuzi bavuganaga n'Imana ibintu biremereye cyane mu buryo babibwiye abantu bimwe ntibabyumvaga cyangwa ngo babisobanukirwe Prophets would speak to God great mysteries that when they told to the people many would not understand Buke Yesaya rongera ravuga ngo Then Isaiah said later Ngumwana yatuvukiye umuhungu And to us a child is born Imana ishimwe cyane he wasn't born that time that unto us a son is given. Isaiah saw it in a vision as though it was happening. But it took 600 years for this child to be born. Before God, what we think is a long time is nothing to him. The Bible says a thousand days unto man is only one day before God. God gave Isaiah this revelation of what was to happen later although it was happening at that time when it was during the war of Assyria and he said unto us a son is born a son is given he spoke upon him great things they were different from what was going on at the time they spoke of his government and they said the government will be upon his shoulders. What does this mean? It means that he will carry something and not put it on other people. He will carry the burden himself, not give it to someone else. That was too hard for the people who were living at the times of royalty at the time. Because the king at the time would be carried. Or they are carried by great chariots. A king had a lifestyle. He would be on the shoulders of men. But this specific king. They're speaking of his government. Aha muri Yesaya ngo guverinema ye 
It is the only place in Hebrew where they use the word government. It will be upon his shoulder. So this man, this king, you will carry the heavy laden. He will feel pain like those in pain. He will comfort those who are crying. He will give rest to the weary. In other words, his kingdom is different from all the others. In the time of Isaiah, they were coming from kingdoms like those of Saul, the kingdom of, of David, Solomon, and Solomon, Jeroboam, Rehoboam, 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 the king of Ahab. Ahab. All those kingdoms there was a way people are the ones that carry them along. But this specific king who ruled the entire world he does not get carried but he carries people. He does not make you burden but he takes your burden. He doesn't cause pain but takes away the pain. Praise Jesus. Praise God. He will be called wonderful, Umujanam. counselor, Imani mighty God, Data everlasting Father, everlasting Father, Father. Prince of Peace. Let's talk about these words. Yes, praise Jesus. This king has special names different from others. They were great kingdoms before. In history, there are other kings that were great. Oh, yes, Praise Jesus. Yes, Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Emperor Napoleon said, The ones that came before me from Charles Mann to Cicero to Nero to the others, they have taken over the world with a sword. And they have oppressed every person they came along. They made everybody bow down as they were. Their power was in the sword. That's why they conquered nations. But I'm among them as Napoleon. We also took over using the sword. Many people came to us not because they loved us but because they feared us. But the Lord Jesus he restored the world with love. His sword was love. And what's amazing I Napoleon I'm among the ones I brought with the sword. No one can sacrifice for me. But the Lord Jesus, they are martyred every day for him. And he never used the sword. He used his love. That's what Isaiah said. The son is given unto us. The son is born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Jesus. <laughs> Let's talk about the five names. The first one. In Hebrew it's called Pele. 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 Like the, the footballer called Pele. That's what it is in Hebrew. That is P. There's a little uh, word in between. Dot, dot. There's a dot. dot. And the first one. That is the P in Hebrew. When it has the dot in, it becomes a P. When the, P is, uh, the dot is not in, it's an F. So in Hebrew, P is the mouth. P. The mouth. It is the mouth. Per. Per. Pele. Pele. de Aleph. Ioni a. Ningu kutu avuga pele a. Iriani a. Arikondi vugwa. But you don't mention that. 
Pele. Pele. It is something that surpasses your imagination. It's called something wonderful. Wow. It starts with pe, which means mouth, and you are awed at what you see. You say, wow. Oh, my. Yeah. Someone has to open their mouth and they are surprised. When we see him, we'll be amazed at how wonderful his work is. He is wonderful. The way he speaks, the way he walks, the way he walks, the way he speaks, the way he reveals himself, and he's a king. Pele. Pele. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. He is wonderful. The way he was born. He is wonderful. The way he was raised. He is wonderful. The way he died. He is also wonderful. The way he is raised. He is wonderful. The way he was raised. And the way he was raised. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. You can go Pele. Say Pele. His, the way he was born and his speech and how he lived with people was wonderful. They brought a woman to him that was sinning in adultery. They wanted to stone her. And he was silent. He started writing on the ground. His writing on the ground was wonderful. It touched their hearts of the accusers of the woman. When they read what he wrote, they saw and saw the reflection of their sin. And then he told them, whoever has not sinned among you, shoot the first stone at him. Then he continued to write on the ground. When he looked up again, it was just him and the woman left. He said, where are all the others that accused you? They have left. Is that true? Woman, go, I will not judge you. Normally, the worldly kings, when they, when they bring a sinner, you put them in prison. That is how it is. But Pele, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. 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 He will gaze at you and say, I forgive you. Because if he can punish you, he would punish the whole world. Let the one without sin be, send the first stone. Sometimes the police <laughs> would take you to prison that you stole and they too have been stealing. They also stole. <laughs> but because they only got you, <laughs> now he will take you to prison. <laughs> but Pele, who if him and <laughs> <the> police, <laughs> he will look at both of you, <laughs> will at both of you <laughs> say, go and sin no more. <laughs> he will call wonderful. <laughs> the king will tell you, <laughs> the word had never heard him. <laughs> And they don't even have him. And they will never have him. However, you can possess him. Hallelujah. You can possess this king. And he will teach you how people find rest. When he began his ministry, he moved around in Matthew in chapter 4. That's where he began. 
avuka ari wabigarira Nazareth umwuka w'Imana kumuriho the spirit of god was upon him ababwira icyo uwo mwuka uzakora and he told them what the spirit of god would do uzabohora barushye it will deliver the heavy laden ibisenzegera ibizongera bihabwa gaciro those who are burdened will receive rest iyi statement y'umwami this was the king's statement ngo kungoma yanje that on my kingdom <laughs> the blind will find sight <laughs> on my kingdom <laughs> the poor will be fed <laughs> no one had said such before the people from where he was were despising him and say this young man we know who he is why is he promising these things that he will never fulfill we will reject him anyway from chapter 5 to 7 of Matthew yababwiye uburyo Israel igomba kwirinda kuzarimbuka he was telling them how Israel needs to guard themselves from destruction. Because they were fighting against the great Romans at the kingdom of Caesar uh, Tiberius. Emperor. He was an emperor. These were great men. And the Israelites wanted to come out of their chains. And then Jesus called them. He was at the Mount Galilee and told them, let me teach you how to live with these people. They have a time they have to live. When it's done, you will be remembered. But do not fight them. Blessed are you, those who suffer and you will be forgiven. Blessed is the merciful because they will receive mercy. Bless the one who weeps because they will be comforted. Bless the one who is despised you will be exalted. You do not worry. Be patient. When he got to chapter 7, he said, the one who hears my words and confirms and hears they will be like a wise man who builds a house on the rock. When the storm came, the rains came and, and there were winds against, against, the, against the house, but it never fell. What was the storm? What was the wind? What was the rain? It was the pressure and the oppression of the Romans. When you're humble people, they will have nothing against you. When you are insulting someone who is not answering you, you despise yourself for it. But if you beat them, then they insult you back. They are igniting you. If they insult you and you're quiet and calm, and you say, please forgive Abura me. Her. You don't know. That's what Jesus was telling them. Do not fight back. Just be patient. There is a time but if you don't obey it, you'll be like the man who built the house when the storms of the Romans come and the rains come and the winds come, that house will fall and he was talking about the nation of Israel it's fall will be great. After 40 years after Jesus said this, General Tito yinjira i Roma, yinjira Israel. General Titus came to Israel. Arakandagira. Then he oppressed them. Abana, abakura munda zabani ndari vazi. He removed or he made women have miscarriages from their mothers. Arahondagura. He killed babies. Israel irahunga. Israel fled. Bagarutse jo bundi nyuma yibi nyaka ibihumbi bibiri. Nyuma nyuma y'intambara y'isi ya kabiri niho cyongeye kwitwa igihugu na n'uyu munsi Iran ntiremera kwa igihugu Palestine ntiremera kwa igihugu Turkey ntiremera kwa igihugu bacita occupation ngo nabaje ku occupa butaka bwabo ibyo Yesu yabibabwiye yabibabwiye muri Matayo gatatu Matayo gatandatu Matayo karindwe aruha ababwira uko bitwara muri umunyu w'isi muri umuco w'isi Please and I won't you bananiran. Mugicha chumina kim atanga invitasio. Yarumam 
ngo barushye mwese na ngo ni muzi wanje ndabaruhura Jesus had pre-warned them in Matthew chapter 5 chapter 6 and 7 and said be humble because these people are great as you noticed at the time when Genotitus went and oppressed the Israelites they fled all over and only after the second world war were they returned to their nation and they were, it became a nation and, and is, as Israel but as you know already even Iran Turkey and all the other nations surrounding them don't believe they are their nations and they are always fighting against them that's what Jesus did in in chapter 11 of Matthew and said those who are who are weary and heavy laden come to me because he knew they were weary the war of Gaza and Israel the, is, the, the war of Hamas it's because they don't believe that Israel lives you came into our land the king of peace after a few days to his crucifixion he went to Mount Olives and he looked across and he saw a great temple and he wept. He wept greatly. Oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. I desire you to, I desire to cover you as a chicken covers its, its cheeks. Because my authority and government is on my shoulders. But you rejected me. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem. You have killed the prophets that brought good news. And you want to kill me as well. Oh Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So the disciples asked him, What are you talking about? It's because our temple is strong. We have, it's built in stone. He looked at them. He said, This generation will not pass until this temple is destroyed. And no stone will be left unturned. Today, where that temple was, there is the Omar Mosque. Jesus said it in their court where Jesus beat the people in the temple. There is a mosque, Al-Aqsa, there. Jesus told them that no stone will be left unturned. The king of peace came and you rejected him. The government was upon his shoulders. He will be called wonderful. In his daily working, he will do miracles. If you are allowed to walk with him and you walk with him, the years you are left with you will be miracles. 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 Hallelujah. When you are allowed to live with a king who is the wonderful king, you will receive miracles. Miracles with your children, miracles in your home, miracles in your workplace, as long as you come, you walk with the Lord. In his being, he didn't have a father. We all had fathers and mothers. Maybe you, <laughs> do not, you may not know your father, but they are there somehow. There is your father somewhere. No one was born like the wonderful person. Hallelujah. That is why the miracles the Lord will do for you because he is wonderful. They have no origin. They have no trace because he is wonderful himself. Hallelujah. 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 He is wonderful. Yes, we. Jesus. Yes, we. Jesus. Jesus. 
We who knew the Lord, you who have known the Lord, we live in miracles each day. We do not have to worry about it much yet. We live in miracles. He will be called a counselor. Eh? Navuze cyakanga. Ubwo narimo niruka mu mutwe. Good. Umujyana. Counselor. Mu gihe burayo bayita iyo etse. In Hebrew it's called your etse. Yo etse. Yo etse. Counselor cyangwa advisor. A counselor or an advisor. Yo de tsadi. Yo de tsadi. Fine tsadi. Yo de vave tsadi fine tsadi. Donc yo yo de niko niko kanu gato yakanyugu dikato kwa mukiyu. Muri buka Yesu avuga ngo iri jambo rito. Ngo akajambo gato ya cyane yakoreshaga yo de. Donc ka yo de nagato cyane. It is the smallest word in Hebrew when Jesus was referring to the smallest word in Hebrew. Ditangirwa na kanyugu tigato bivuga ngo inama nti ntisaba ushobora kuba mu bindu byinshi imyaka ariko imuna gwaya kanama gato gusa. Ibintu bigahinduka. Niyo mpamvu itangirwa na yo de yo de na kanyugu tigato. Tukene abantu bakubwira ari umuntu ugwa gatekerezo gato gusa ubuzima bugahinduka. Donc yo de Yod begins with a small letter, which is the smallest, but it also means that there is no small counsel. As long as you receive counsel, it can turn around your entire life that you have lived in for too long. There are people who have amounted much and reached far because of one good counsel they received. He is a counselor who is never wrong. And he will never lie to you. He also counsels you best on the purpose of God for your life. He gives you counsel through the night as you sleep. He gives you counsel as you are awake. He gives you counsel in difficult times. He gives you counsel in good moments. Yego. Yes. Umunsi Pilato yaragiye kwica Yesu. The day Pilate was about to kill Jesus. Yicaye mu ngoro ye. He sat in his throne or his palace. They were stairs that led to his throne. They had beaten and flogged Jesus and took him to him. He came from, the, from Caiaphas. Then they took him. When they took him to Pilate, his wife came rushing to him. He said, you have the last word in this land. Do not dare touch this man. This night, I had a dream. And Pilate heard, he was the one to determine his death. Then he washed his hands and said, you Jews take this man and they told him give him to us. Let his judgment be upon us and our children. He washed his hands of that. His wife gave him counsel. But this is the problem. Before Pilate let go he had finished washing He wanted to please the Jews. So he took the flogging and beat Jesus and then sent him away. Why did he beat him anyway? He also flogged him and it hurt Jesus. You were a man and, and now see what you just did. The woman gave you counsel and you wanted to do it your manly way. What happened to Pilate? Do you know that? After that, Pilate, uh, he did it again there is something else he did. The Jews worked together. The same ones that betrayed Jesus. They went to Rome to Caesar. 
And they reported Pilate. Bamurezi. When they reported him, Bamurezi. they reported him great Pilato sins. Umama and then the king sent for him and, and went to imprison him in France. He couldn't even come out. Pilate, uh, uh, Pilate uh, killed himself or he committed suicide and he was in a foreign land. That is how he died. He did something that he shouldn't have done. You need to listen to the counsel of Jesus. He never goes astray. He never lies. He's a good counselor. He's a good counselor. However, we never have time to seek his counsel. When we are in panic, you seek for the shortest way out of how you can get out of the problem. But when you kneel down and you say, and then you say, Jesus, I heard that you give good counsel. Can I have it? You can never seek Jesus' counsel and he doesn't give it to you. You may not see him, but he will go through other people, go through your circumstances, and you get a way out. If we know that he's a good counselor, we would never take uh, medication for stress and depression. Why? He's a good counselor. Umujana. He's a good counselor. The third name is the mighty God. Ufitikiwazo, gihimani komeye. You have a problem, take it to the mighty God. Bamita El Gibor. He's called El Gibor. El Gibor. El Gibor. Gavare mugiye burayo gavare donke ni ni kigabo kikome chani. Muna bana statiri abagoriati. You see, like a giant, it means a giant. Gavar. It means a giant. He is a mighty and a giant God. Or he's a hero. Those great heroes of old. He's a hero. He's also a God. So he becomes a great and mighty God. El Gibor will fight on your behalf. He will fight and overcome you. you. When you are with El Gibor, you will fear nothing. Amen. Amen. Nabgobanzagira Nabgoba Zagira Yesangu Bidie Nabgoba Zagira Nibri Kumena Yesu Tuza. If you are with the Lord Jesus, be calm. do not panic. Uh -huh. El Gibor El Kumena. El Gibor is with you. El Gibor El Kumena. El Gibor is with you. El Gibor El Kumena. El Gibor is with you. Hallelujah. 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 Mighty God, Imana Yimbaraga. Mighty God. Ubgayo kusakumi Imana ni Yimbaraga. Umvano no kongera. Gimba Imana. <laughs> For him to be God is enough, but then he is a mighty God. That's even greater. I get amazed. A Christian who has the El Gibor, when it's difficult in their lives, you go to which doctors? The witch doctors also sometimes thank God. The breath they have is from God. Even Satan and his demons 
They also thank God. Demons told Jesus, Please forgive us and don't kill us before our time. The same demons you want to seek power from, they fear El Gibor. Jesus, we beseech you. Because El Gibor is merciful, he said, What do I do to you? Let us be sent to the swine. Said, Instead of killing you, you go and go to the swine. If El Gibor can forgive demons, how much more you? He is with Agenda you. Now. He walks with you. He surrounds you. He no no. Everywhere. No one, will, no one will touch you as long as you trust in him. Nabgoba zagira yesari kumwe nanje ndabgoba zagira Hey hallelujah Izina yakane yitwa data wa twese The fourth name is everlasting father Aviad 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 Aveni data i iri ya nuwanje Avino kwengo uwanje data wanje my father na huiria ad ad bisobanu nongo nuba huiteka dios it means everlasting generation in generation perpetuity generation for eternity aviad aviad ndikumena data ndikumena aviad data iteka dios i am with aviad the everlasting father igiye chose umwana anytime nubo yakura agifitese ahora rumwa even if they grow old and they still have a father they dufite data we have a father. Even if we are old, Aviad, Aviad, wanje, my father, who is everlasting, who is forevermore, we are with him today. When I cross the river of heaven, and I live with him forever, the Bible says I knew you in your mother's womb, and I lifted you, and I carried you, you will be old, while I still have you. Avia, the everlasting father. He carries us in difficult times. And in good times. He carries us. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Yes, I am in Ongunia Nagatana Tungo Naguhetse Ukirimunda Uvu Senda Guterura Uzarindu Saza Giguheka Invisizaburi and Ziguheka Moninje and Iendi Mani Mesenkawe Aviade Data Uraho Isaiah 46 says, I knew you when you're in mother's womb. When Jesus. you were born, I carried you. And I carried you on my back. I will still carry you even when you have a beard and you have old. I am Aviad, your everlasting father. Do not, do not be embarrassed to ask him to carry you even <inaudible> when you're old. Hallelujah. I know you're having many burdens. You're carrying many people. But Feel free to go to he the river. He His shoulders will carry you. Yavuze mu mu buryo umunsi 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 Yakobo ari maragabana be. When Jacob was giving inheritance to his children, when he reached to Isaac, yaramureza ravango Isakari we. Said Isaac. Nguri Isakari Isakari. Uh, Issachar, sorry. Yes, yes, hard. Don't you say that we are going to be in your mouth? We are going to be in your We are going to be We are going to be in your mouth. We are going to be in your We are going to be in your We are going to be in your We Hallelujah. 
Avia, the everlasting father, when Jacob was in giving inheritance to his children, he talked of Issachar as one with a mighty donkey that will carry the burdens, a reflection of Jesus, the one who will carry your burdens. He will carry you. He will carry your descendants. Even when you're not aware, he is carrying you. Issachar, you are sleeping in the field of the and you are carrying burdens. I don't know if Issachar is here. Isakari. 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 Isakar. Umuni nindo gobe ihetse. Is a, a donkey that is carrying a lot. Yego. Iisi ondo gobe nziz. Muzari bindo gobe. Iisi nindo gobe. Ifiti mitkwaro yikore yibiti. It has. Nyo Isakar. It has uh, other donkeys are carrying a greater burden Isakar. than that. Isakar. 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 Yod. Yod. Sino. Sino. Sino, Sino, Naka, and Car, Naresh, his heart, his heart, it starts with Yod. Let me tell you, brethren. Do not be afraid. You have one who has burdened on your behalf. We don't need to fit him, but that's okay. We don't have slaves to carry our burdens, but the Lord is the one who carries our burdens. We don't have slaves to carry our burdens, but the Lord God carries our burdens. This is Issachar. He carries our burdens. The Lord is the one who carries our burdens. You are a mighty donkey. That is carrying burdens. This is our Jesus. This is our Jesus. Aviade. Aviade. El Gibor. El Gibor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umuhungu ya tuvuki. A son is born. Ariko itwa El Gibor. But he's called El Gibor. Itwa Aviade. He's called Aviade. Uh. Hallelujah. No. Mm -hmm. Why are you heavy laden when you have a king to carry for you? We don't we didn't receive a servant, we received a king that carries our burdens. Almighty and everlasting father. No in the internal time to come, <laughs> when God told Moses, he said, I am Abraham. I'm the God of Abraham. Abraham. Did Moses know Abraham? No. No. I'm also a God of Isaac. Moses Isaac. Did Moses know Isaac? No. no. I'm also a God of Jacob. Did he know Jacob? No, no he didn't. I'm the God of Levi. Did he know Levi? No. The one he knew, Moses, he saw his father. Amram. 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 Was the great grandchild of Levi. When God introduced himself to Moses, I am your internal God. As generations follow the Imana ya Amram, I'm the God of Amram, until Levi, Jacob, Isaac, Abraham. Abraham. When you're going to pray, say, Our Father in heaven, Our Father. Give us this day our day. Give us our dates. Our Father. The last name, the Prince of Peace, the Prince of Peace, Sar Shalom. Sar Shalom. Sar ubundi ni ni Prince. It means Prince. Changwe se kuku mwa mimi malere arikui ni Prince le Prince de pe. So Sar is Prince. Prince of Peace. Oh Prince, yes. Sar no no mo umu Sar no mo. Sir, you have a sir. Don't get in it. No, 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 Wakiza ni libidyo mwisi ni ya kigakara wakikarja. Doki, uyunu ni kikomangoma chamahuru. 
wacereka urutarakiriya kikarurambara raho nda kibazo gifite uyu mwami wa mahoro yemera imibereho yawe yose akayibamo akabana nawe hanyuma akagusikira amahoro hallelujah 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 this specific prince is a humble prince he is a prince of peace the worldly princes that we know are proud and they go along pompous but we know that this specific prince is very humble he will be with you in every circumstances every circumstance and give you peace ngo mwisi amahoro abe kubayishimitse and in the earth peace unto all kuko umwami wa mahoro yaje because the king of peace is umwami wa mahoro yamana he has come umwami wa mahoro yaje the peace of prince of peace is here azitwe gitangaza he will be wonderful akiri gitangaza cyane he called wonderful receive azitwe mujyana he will be called counselor habwe inama guhari uyu munsi receive the good counsel of the lord azitwe imana ikomeye he will be called mighty god na kuke muri ibibazo byose as it a data what we saw ra ho va mu bupfubyo gire sona as it ku mwambi wa mahoro habwe yo mahoro mu buzima bwawe haguruka dushimba ibana dusenga stand for prayer nabgoba 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 nzagira yesari kumwe nange nabgoba zagira Yes ari kumena nabo bazaki nabo ba nabo 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 bazoki ra oh yes ari kumena nabo bazoki ra oh yes ari kumena eh nabo bazoki nabo Hallelujah Yes ari kugera Nabo azogira Oh Yes ari kumena nje Nabo azogira Mana turagushima God we thank you Kutumaza ubwoba You have taken our fear Uri gitanga You are wonderful Uri umujyana You are counselor That you are mighty God Turagushima Everlasting Father Uri umwami wa mahoro Thank you because you are prince Wabayeho You have been Uriho You are Uzahoraho Turagushima kuri impani ikomeye So we thank you that your great gift Yaje mu buzima bwa Came into our lives Mana Father, you sent us Jesus with a wonderful love. The glory is yours. Go with us. In this Christmas day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go with the Lord Jesus.